The National Famine Museum at Strokestown Park and Irish Heritage Trust are screening this film as part of the Great Famine Voices Roadshow 2020 online event series. The Great Famine Voices Roadshow is funded by the Government of Ireland Emigrant Support Program. My name is Jim Finn. My full name is Patrick James Finn. Um, my ancestor Patrick was born in 1842 in Thomastown, Tipperary, in the parish of Golden, and I was born 100 years later in 1942 in Liverpool. I actually live in Crosby at the present time. I've lived in Crosby now for almost 50 years. Um, Michael and Murray, my ancestors, lived in Tipperary. They got married in 1836 and they had the first child in 1837, that was Margaret, and uh, another child in 1839, that was James. My great-great-grandfather was born, or great-grandfather was born 1842, as I just mentioned, and uh, followed by Michael, who was born in 1845, and they all lived in Tipperary at the time. But after the famine, they came across to England um, and they appeared in the 1851 census in Lancaster with Patrick and Michael, but not Margaret or James. Michael became a stone mason, good trade to have them because of all the building works going on. And um, Patrick, when he came of age, he became a cotton mill throstle doffer, whatever that's supposed to be, probably something to do with weaving. And uh, Patrick got married in Lancaster in St. Peter's Cathedral, at Isabella Beck, and they had several children, one of whom was my grandfather, James Beck Finn. James Beck Finn, he too got married in Lancaster Cathedral, and that was in 1897, and they appeared in Liverpool in 1906. They lived in 66 Candia Street, Liverpool. They had several changes of address and uh, had uh, several uh, children, one of whom was my father, Patrick. And um, he was born in 1913, uh, Patrick, uh, eventually got married and he had three children, Raymond, Patrick, uh, my older brother, myself, Patrick, James, and uh, a sister, Sylvia. And um, as regards my Irish identity, uh, I, I, I cannot escape the fact <laughs> because, of, because of my name. Um, and wherever I tend to go, if I'm in company and or in a workplace or socialising, I always tend to uh, gravitate towards Irish people. So I, I still have those Irish genes which uh, have stayed with me all this time. It would appear when I was growing up that uh, a lot of uh, Irish people who came to live in Liverpool and settled in the Scotland Road and Kirkdale areas and uh, Liverpool 8, that um, because of the discrimination, the no dogs, no blacks, no Irish uh, attitude that was predominant, prevalent at the time, um, they tried to cover up their Irish identity. Um, I, I've met lots of women over the years who've said that um, I was so glad to get married so I could get an English name, probably to escape discrimination. Um, I couldn't very well disguise my name, although I did turn my name round from Patrick James to James Patrick at my mother's advice. <laughs> 